As you move through Key Stage 1, you may learn to add by partitioning and recombining. This just means splitting numbers up into their tens and their ones, and then putting them back together. We start to do this practically using ten sticks and ones. So, for the number sentence 23 plus 14, first of all, we're going to make both numbers. The number 23 has two tens, so we have two ten sticks, one, two, and three ones, so we have three cubes, one, two, three. The number 14 has one ten, so we have one ten sticks, and four ones, so we have four cubes, one, two, three, four. We now need to add this together by counting the tens as tens and the cubes as ones. So 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. We then move on to partition and rate combined by drawing. So this time we're going to draw the numbers. The number 23 has two tens, so we draw one, two ten sticks. It has three ones, so we're going to draw three ones. One, two, three. The number 14 has one ten stick. So we're going to draw one ten stick, and it has four ones. So four dots, one, two, three, four. We then need to add these back together by counting the tens as tens and the ones as ones. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. We then move on to recording partition and recombining. So the number sentence here is 26 plus 63. So first we're going to identify the tens and add them together. The number 26 has two tens, two tens are 20. The number 63 has six tens, six tens are 60. We then put the bigger number into our head, 60, put two tens on our fingers to count on, 60, 70, 80. Now let's look at the ones. 26 has six ones, 63 has three ones. We then again put the bigger number in our head, six in our head, three on our fingers, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we need to add the numbers back together. So we have 80 plus 9. Again, we put the bigger number in our head, 80 in our head, 9 in our fingers, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. We then move on to partition and recombine by recording, but with bridging. Now this is the same as before, but you'll notice that when we add the ones, this time they go over 10. So for 37 plus 45, we identify the 10s and add them together. So the three 10s are 30. 4 tens in 45 is 40. So 40 in my head, 3 tens on my fingers, 40, 50, 67. Now let's look at the ones. 37 has 7 ones. 45 has 5 ones. So we put 7 in our head, 5 in our fingers, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my number sentence now says 70 plus 12. And you'll notice that my second number is now a two digit number. It goes over 10. So this time we're going to put 70 in our head, we're going to add on the 10 first, 70, 80, and then we'll add on the ones 80, 81, 82. We then move on to short partition and recombining. So the number sentence here is 26 plus 39. So let's add the 10s together first. So I'm going to start with my biggest number to make this easier. So my bigger number is 39. The number 39 has three 10s, so I'm going to put three 10s in my head, 30. And then number, six has, number 26 has two tens, so I'm going to put two tens on my fingers. So I've got 30 in my head, two tens on my fingers, 30, 40, 50. Again, to add the ones, I'm going to look at the bigger number first, so 39. So I'm going to put nine ones in my head, add on the six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I now need to add these answers together. So 50 plus 15, so 50 in my head, one ten on a finger, 50, 60, add the ones, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. We can also do short partitioning and recombining this way. So we can put the bigger number in our head first to make it easier for us, so 39, and then we can add on the tens. So here we're going to add on two tens. So 39 in my head, two tens on my fingers, 39, 49, 59. I then write this answer down. All I need to add then is the ones of the other number. So 59 in my head, add on 6, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65.